Hello, this is Andre, and I want to talk today about fractions. And why is that? It's because in one of the videos I saw on YouTube, a mathematician in a college complained that students during first year college calculus class didn't know how to use fractions. For example, let's take one third and we need to add to it half. So apparently some of the students arrive at these solutions, they sum the denominator, so it will be two, and then denominator, and then they've got five. So if you got the same answer, following will be an introduction into fractions where we will visualize them for better understanding. The proper answer is this one. It's one third plus half equals two. Five, six. Okay, so let's talk about fractions. So if we take this figure which consists of three equal squares and think about it as a whole figure which we model in the mathematics by number one, so then we can look at fractions in this way. So fraction is when we take a part out of the whole. So if we take one of the squares so we've got one squares out of three. So in mathematics, we use this notation to show this. So it will be one out of three. So this line says out of three. Okay, so next we move to, and we will take two squares. So this is the next example. So we take two out of three. And the last example, we will take all three squares. So we can see it will be three out of three and which by the earlier definition equals one. So this is how fraction works. Now that we understand what fractions are, we can tackle that example. So we can do it mechanically following an algorithm. So one third plus plus a half, so the algorithm says let's multiply two numbers in the denominator, which is 3 multiplied by 2, and then multiply each side by the opposite number. So in this case it will be multiplied by 2 and multiplied by 3, and then sum them. So it will be 2 plus 3, which is equal 5, 6. So it's a proper answer, but the issue is that uh, you can carry this out mechanically without understanding what's going on. So we will try to visualize it using the previous approach. Okay, we are back with two figures. Those are equal figures. Again, they consist of three squares. And let's look at what is one third. So if we take one square out of three, as we've seen previously, it will be one third. So we will take this one. Also notice that this uh, line, kind of line, uh, means half. Okay, so if we want to take half, it will be this figure. So we can even sum them visually, and we will arrive at this figure. So let's say sum, it will be equal to this figure. So we know it will be half and also it will equal to one third. So this is the sum of those two numbers, which is five, six. So it's not easy to see that it's five, six, and uh, we will see in a minute how it, how it looks. Okay, so to see how to arrive at this number, we will double this figure. So let's see what we're doing here. So we'll take twice three squares and repeat this second time. Okay, and see what happens. So we can think about this part as one, two, and three. But since we multiply it by two, so we've got six parts. So this part is one third, but it consists of two parts. So it's one sixth. So we've got one third 
And then we've got half. Half will be three squares. One, two, three. So we can see that if we take one third, in this case, which is two six, and the half, which equals to three six, so we get the number two six plus three six equals to five six. So uh, that's the correct number. So this visualization explains the algorithm that we saw previously, and we can see it in this way. We can take one third, multiply it by one, which is two divided by two is one, and we can take half and multiply it by one, which is three thirds. And if you look at this carefully, you'll see that we've got two six and three six, which is five six. And that's it folks. I hope it was helpful. Thank you. Bye bye.